Okay, welcome YouTubers. It's another day and we're going further in our tutorials and today we're going to continue with it from where we stopped the last time. We did an umbrella and we're going to now compose a, a scenario here. We're going to compose a scene and um, since we've learned how to draw, we will continue to learn how to draw. Um, but we will compose a scene and as we compose, we'll continue in our skills of drawing, okay? So we're gonna start from here. I've already uh, opened my uh, studio and um, we're gonna start, this is a scene we're gonna try to compose or something similar to this uh, with an umbrella at the beach side, okay? And so we're gonna just start from where we stopped the last time, which is this umbrella that we have made. Uh, we did this drawing using the point two and we're going to continue to do this drawing again to, uh, to do more drawings as we compose and then we're going to see how to use layers from this more more intensely from this time on um, so to start with we're going to just import another layer remember we have said this is in the layers panel you can just go there and click on the plus sign which shows you a new layer and you can choose the kind of layer you are importing and now we're going to try to import, uh, let's, let's start by importing an image layer, okay? And this image layer, what we want to do is to kind of make a, a background for our beach, all right? And in the image, I, I've already imported a, an image layer, which again shows you how good this um, software can be um, because you can combine both vector and images in all that you do all right and um, make a scene out of it and it shall be it will be beautiful all right um, we're gonna this is our image layer already and we're gonna expand it by clicking on the corner and just dragging it up like that and that's that we expand the layer all right so with this layer it's already given us a uh, 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 an inclination towards evening time okay so we're going to have uh, a cool evening <laughs> all right so okay so that's that being the background layer um, we're going to now import uh, or add another layer a vector layer this time around um, and we can add drawings other drawings this time around just using the shape tool there and we can just make it uh like a square shape here um and making this like uh the waterfront and this is the select shape tool which we can use to change the color and we can make that water uh, a little more like you know the evening water that we would like to use okay so that's like yeah the kind of lake color all right and we can we can tone this later or we can tone it now all right so and this is where you tone you have this effect here and you can just click on shaded or you know whatever you would like and um, change the direction of the shading also you know and um, you can change the blur if you will you know by just kind of dragging back and forth to whatever state state you like hitting control and just drag back and forth um the offset you can also change the shadow type you can change but for now i'll just leave it like this which is okay and that would be uh, the water all right um we can also go ahead and just name that water and call it water um, water all right um okay so after the water we need the sand the sand area okay so we'll go back again and make another um layer we'll go to the layers panel 
add another vector layer. Remember, we're just doing composition now, and which we're going to now animate later. All right, so this is going to be the layer five. We can lay it right away, and it's going to be the sand area. Okay, so we can make another uh, square like that, and um, choose the select shape and select the color change the color rather like that let's call that the sand color okay um we can also tone that but for now i'll, I'll just leave it flat all right i'll check to see if they have strokes yes they have strokes we don't want that stroke on the sand because it's not going to look good and we don't want the stroke on the water either because it's not going to look good. So you can just deselect stroke from here or from there. And that's how you work that out. Okay, so now we have these layers like that. Now, um, the umbrella layer, I think because of the handle and the thing, we have two layers there and we can group them if we want to or we can still leave them all like this and one other thing that we, I would like to point out is that it's also very good for our animation to always put everything in a group group with selection you can just go to the layer and then click group with selection here the reason for that is that it makes it easier for layers to animate and you can just name the, the entire group pitch and depending on what composition you are already doing, if you're following this tutorial, um, you, you give it a title that fits what you're doing. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, we can then animate this back and forth as the case may be. This can come in front of this, this can go behind that, and stuff like that, and on and on. And because this works even more when we begin to add figures into this animation, it makes it work all the better okay um, and if you're following uh, again I would like to point that this is Moho Pro um, it might be a little expensive for some of you but in all they have a, a version that is not the pro the, the ordinary the classic or the basic version which still does practically everything that the pro version does and it's only fifty dollars i think 49 something or sometimes even less than that when they have sales so it's about the cheapest uh, program you can use for 2d drawing and animation in 3d space it is very very wonderful all right uh, yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and shape the sand and the water you know, because we know water usually is not, uh, <laughs> water is not usually like just so point straight like that. So, uh, oh, what layer am I on? I know, sorry. Okay, we'll go to the water layer and we just kind of shape it a little bit, you know, like that. By adding points, remember, every time you add points, you're actually shading. I mean, you're changing the shape of whatever object you have we'll go to the sand layer and we can also just change the shape of our objects which is the sand here uh, wherever we want the shape to be or however we want the shape to be all right we can just do that cool um and we can use that to also uh, to just furthermore change the shape um, arrange the shape whatever we want but we want the shape also to we want the sand to have space so that we can um, have space for our feeders whatever we're going to put in there you know we want to have some space there um, therefore it means that we're going to need to uh, move the water forward too okay we can just select the entire water and just move it up like that. Okay, so that we can have some water. So we also would like to see a little bit more on 
the of the landscape so we can move that upward also okay like something that's like beyond the sea level beyond the water level let me hide this umbrella a little bit so that we can see uh, what we're doing there you know uh, yeah we want it to look like there's a city that's ahead way behind the lake or river or whatever it is that we're doing and um, we can see that from afar um, this water because of the, the shading of the water you can also kind of like reduce uh, the height so that we can see more shading let's take a preview and see what it looks like you should always do that from time to time because then you're able to see what your composition looks like and what you need to adjust in there we know that we can still adjust the shading of the water okay and um, it will look better okay and then our, of course our handle our umbrella we can always uh, just kind of like oops, reduce the size like that uh, by just when you select the layer you can just reduce the layer size okay or you go and uh, select the points transform tool you can use the transform tool also to kind of reshape it or, or just make it smaller make it tinier okay now you're getting there let's expose our umbrella once again we can also select this entire thing or maybe even the layer the layer to and just reduce that size make it a little proportional yeah proportionate so that when you bring in your figures they don't look like ants under the umbrella okay that's fine um okay the composition is getting together um okay here we can draw also trees um by importing another layer let's import one layer one vector layer and like i said earlier on you can import images you can import vectors you can do whichever you want to do and as you do it what you must also always know is that all of these things you can manipulate whichever way you want to manipulate them and um, you are ultimately going to enjoy what you're doing okay you can again use curvature to get sharper lines wherever you need to okay and um just shape your tree the way you want your, your tree shaped okay so i'm gonna leave that take that as a tree you know a tree trunk and then i'm going to i'm going to shape it and kind of give it a dark color like so and on top of the tree i'm just going to draw like a, a circle just to kind of represent the the tree which the leaves which i'm going to give a, a green color also and that will be our tree it's not perfect but I mean, you can draw something better.